Hey, it's Pratty Matty. If you're old like me, you probably played an epic racer game in the 2000s called LEGO Racers. I was given the chance to play LEGO 2K Drive and thought I'd use some of my LEGO skills to put together some of the vehicles for the game. Let's make Gypsy Moth's Racer. This racer is made using the street set, and then choose the old school chassis. First of all, place a wedge at the front of the vehicle, and then a smaller wedge in blue underneath. Then add a 6x1 flat piece underneath this to create the wing. Add a steering wheel in blue, and then 2x1 flat piece. To make the winged edges of the car, use a 6x2 flat piece. It's capped with two single wedges. The exact pieces for Gypsy Moss car don't exist in the game, so I use some curved alternatives. Now we're going to start building up the back. First select these 2x1 wedge pieces and then build up the back section with a 2x2 two two and a 3x2 in blue. Now choose two wing pieces to make the base of the radar dish on the back. Then use these wedges in grey to build the front and rear sections. Finishing with a flat 2x1 block. And this handle in blue. Now we need to start building the radar dish or booster rocket at the back. I use this four piece right angled in blue and then built it up with a 2x3. Then I use four wing pieces in a circle. To make it look more like the original design, I gave it a smooth back, using this inverted smooth piece to create the effect. I tried lots of different ways to make this dish on the back. If you found a better looking way, let me know. At this point I felt the front axle joints were a little bit bare, so I used some smooth pieces the same as earlier to make it more streamlined. Now it's starting to look a little bit more like an F1 car. I felt the minifig needed a little more back support, so I added a handle here. Let's add some decoration. I made these studs in blue to be on whilst boosting, and these red studs as brake lights. Then why not some yellow for reversing? Don't forget you'll need to select the action for each of these studs. It was at this point in the build I felt more like exploring some of the metallic colour options to suit Gypsy Moth's racer a little more. I chose this dark grey metallic paint to try and make the car stand out a little, but the final colour options are really down to you. Although 2K doesn't have the correct wheels for the car, you can still make them look the part, turning the hubcaps metallic grey and painting the tyres blue. I then chose a hydroplane engine sound and added some dark arrow stickers to give the front some decoration. The original design had some cool decals, but unfortunately you can't add more than one sticker to a block, otherwise it might be possible to make some wires and control panels. And there we have Gypsy Moth's Racer. My build is a bit more of a stretched out version than the original, but this is the best way I could make her racer fit the LEGO 2K chassis set. It would be great to see some more original LEGO pieces from the set, but I feel as though this creation works well with the sets that we have available. All of these builds use the standard sets that come with the game. I haven't used any of the unlockable or purchasable pieces when making these creations, so you shouldn't need to buy anything else. Let me know what you think in the comments, and any other builds that you'd like to see. 
I've been Pratty Matty. Thanks for stopping by.